Dear students, I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 267 and the topic of discussion is how emotion controls attention. We have to be careful in our perspective that emotions are not only there to affect our creative thinking and thinking patterns, they are also there to act and react based upon our focus, our attention. Is maksad ke liye, there is a very famous theory that we need to talk about and that theory is known as affective events theory. Is theory mein hum ye jaan paayenge ke how the emotions are in association with our attention and with our behaviors. For example, how we feel influences what we pay attention to and how we think, remember and make decisions. Ab ye tamam cheezein aapas mein correlated hain. Our feelings, our decision, our remembrance, our selective attention and perception affect us. An event in the work environment triggers positive or negative emotional reactions. And this is our main concern is affective events theory. Ke it is said that personality and mood determine response intensity and emotions can influence a broad range of work variables. Now, in context, if we look at a flow sheet diagram, mein dekhe, it is said that our work environment, which is a combination of characteristics of job, job demands and requirement for the emotional labor, these are linked with work events and the work events are the daily hassles and the daily uplifts. Here we have a context develop karega, that is related to our personal disposition, which is our personality measures and our mood involved. And these things would be leading towards emotional reactions or emotional reactions are positive bhi ho sakte hain or negative bhi ho sakte hain. Ab jo bhi hamare emotional reactions create honge, they would be the source for either our job satisfaction or our higher performance. Agar hum is baat ko reverse mein lekar bhi dekhen, to hume pata chalega ke job satisfaction and job performance is eventually based upon our emotional context. Ab agar hum iski implications ke upar baat karein, to it is said that an emotional episode is actually the result of a series of emotional experiences triggered by a single event. It is also said that the current and past emotions affect job satisfaction. The third point is that emotional fluctuations over time create variations in job performance. And obviously, we are talking about that in a positive emotional context, we will go to positive creativity, innovation, development and in a negative case, mein obviously, the things are going to backfire. So, it is said in the fourth point that the emotion driven behaviors are typically brief and variable. Or, her shaks ke liye uski jo vardat hai wo different ho sakti hai. Her shaks ka context, uska mahol, uska group, uske members wo different ho sakte hai. So, both negative and positive emotions can distract workers and reduce job performance. Or, hume obviously, is cheese ko dekna padega ke hum kis tarike se job performance ko better se better banai. Or, kis tarike se hum logo ko. Asse rewards, asse compensations provide karein, jisse ke wo positive associations ko zyada materialize wo kar sakein. Sometimes it is said ke a happy worker is a productive worker. Lekin is hypothesis ko bhi challenge kar diya gaya and the resultant hypothesis would be that a productive worker deserves to be happy. So, ab happiness or productivity ko bhi hum aapas mein relate karke dekh sakte hain ke kis tarha se hume apna bartao wo lekar chalna chahiye. Now remember, that emotions provide variable insight into our behavior. So, ab wo behavior chahe leader ka ho ya follower ka ho, hume unke emotional context ko understand wo zaroor karna chahiye. And last but not the least point is that the emotions and the minor events that cause them should not be ignored. Because wo choti choti baate mil kar baad mein ek bohut bada masla aapke liye create kar sakti hain, jaisa ke humare paas jahan par theory mein bhi mojood hai ke they accumulate. And if they accumulate, so obviously they are going to have a disaster, they are going to have a problem, they are going to have an environment which is not technically favored by the organization. So, the mamtar mamalat ko, the mamtar perspectives ko, hame pakat par sochna chahiye, kisi bhi cheez ko for granted nahi lena chahiye, or kisi bhi cheez ko ignore, wo nahi karna chahiye, because wo tamam cheez e milkar, kal ko hamare liye ek bada masla create kar sakti hai. इस एफेक्टिव इवेंट थ्योरी में हमने इस बात पर फोकस किया कि वो क्या एस्पेक्ट्स हो सकते हैं जो कि हमारी परफॉर्मेंस एंड जॉब सेटिस्फैक्शन के दरमियान रुकावट का سبب वो हो सके हमें ये सोचना होगा कि हम किस तरह से अपनी थिंकिंग को 
अपने जज्बात को वापस पे कोरिलेट करते हैं और किस तरह से हम एक राइट वोकेबलरी यूज करते हैं टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट एंड टू टेल टू इवन अवर ओन सेल्फ के वट वी आर फीलिंग एंड वाई वी आर फीलिंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स अगर हम इस सारी बात को कंक्लूड करें तो याद रखिएगा कि ख्याल जज्बात के साथ वाबस्ता हैं हम वही चीज सोच पाएंगे जिस चीज के साथ हमारी जज्बाती वाबस्तगी वो होगी और अगर वो मुस्बत वाबस्तगी है तो ऑब्वियसली हमारी थाट भी पॉजिटिव होगी और अगर वो मनफी वाबस्तगी है तो ऑब्वियसली हम उस चीज के बारे में कंस्ट्रक्टिवली पॉजिटिवली शायद नहीं सोच पाएंगे थैंक यू